Game of the day, Slovenia versus the Ivory Coast. Both teams undefeated in the competition. Slovenia won 13 to 9 against Togo. The Ivory Coast defeated Qatar 13 to 8. So only one of them will stay that way at the end of day number one here at the Qatara Beach for the 2019 ANOC World Beach Games 3 and 3 basketball competition. Slovenia looking for the first point of the game, but a huge denial. You have to show some respect to Mr. Ismail. That was the message for Eric Kral, who did not come too aggressive, and uh, Mr. Ismail sent that to the UAE. I think that went next to the border. He had so much power on that block. Kral. Tough high arc shot there, missed uh, by Jacob uh, Jesik. Jesik needed medical attention during the first game. He was uh, bleeding, he still has the bandage on his cheek. And the first bucket of the game comes uh, for the Ivory Coast. Now Rick Gwede puts the ball into the net. And they're looking for the second one, and they will get it. Diarra Ismail with a fast move. That was fast and furious as he was driving and thriving. And uh, the Ivory Coast is up by two. Vidri wide open for two. Ismail. Top shot there by Ismail. Oh! 
Yes, he. Off the board, but uh, it will stay with uh, Slovenia. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Krali from outside. It brings out there is Mlakar with the offensive rebound, and that was a big man move. Mlakar, a huge uh, body there. Very tough to box him out. Can Ivory Coast answer once again? Mlakar affecting the shot of Konate Latina. And then we have a foul against uh, Jakob Jesic. Yes, with a smart move there, lowering his shoulder, catching uh, Konate Lassina up in the air. So he was able to absorb that, that contact. Ismail gets the friendly roll on that drive. Once again, the Ivory Coast is leading in this game and uh, we have a foul away from the ball this time against Mlakar that's uh, first uh, team foul against uh, Slovenia the spin here and another foul against Slovenia Rede trying to create something by himself the athletic qualities of this uh, Ivory Coast team are very, very high. But the teamwork so far in this game is not really shown. Nice drive there by uh, Yara Ismael. Gets the point for the Ivory Coast. From the baseline comes the answer, Eric Krali. Top turn around, G by Nalik with it, but he drops it. Yes, he gets it back. Yes, it to Kral wide open, cashes in from outside. And just like that, we are tied at five. Lassina. And that's a traveling violation. Vidri. Is it here to. Lakar, Krali to Vidri, thought about it, then he's going straight to the cup, can I get the point, Lassina, and now uh, Severin with a tough shot after the pump fake. Krali. And now we have a foul against the Ivory Coast and TV timeout with uh, 6 minutes and 57 seconds until the end of the game. Lockout here. Gives the ball uh, down low to uh, Yesik. Yesik is driving, but no driving this time. Uh, the Ivory Coast gets the ball back and they get a two pointer from Diara Ismael, who sinks it from beyond the arc. And Krali answered, No, Mlakar is there. Offensive rebound puts it up and it's good. Latina did not clear the ball. The basket will not count. 
You need to check the ball outside of the arc in order to attempt a shot. It's 3 3 basketball. Jesik, Kral, for two. Yes! He is starting to heat up. That's the second two pointer by uh, Eric Kral in this game. Now Lassina gets in the paint. And it looks like we have a double foul. Both teams will get a team foul. That will be team foul number three against Slovenia and uh, team foul number five against uh, the Ivory Coast. Ismail with the spin and the easy breezy finish. You brought some change down there on the court, Mr. Yes, that was the message. Yes, now Kral denied on a two-point attempt, but they get the rebound and somehow Rock Vidrik squeezes it in. Not long for Diara Ismail to answer. Klasina. Kral from outside. He was looking for the third two pointer. Not gonna get it this time. But this time, Diara Ismail is doing what he knows best. He is penetrating, and so far he is striving. Especially when uh, he's playing one-on-one -on -one basketball because he is faster than everybody on that court and his vertical leap also helps him a lot. But he needs to catch his breath, checking out of the game. Now Regvede comes back in. That was the drive I was talking about. Good breaks there. Asking uh, Eric Kral to get him something from the supermarket if he's going that far. From the baseline, jump shot, no good by uh, Gwede. Yesik, the head fake, Yesik in traffic, finds Blakar, lets it fly, way too strong. Gwede goes back to Severin and the game is stopped for a traveling violation. Trying to split the defense, the fake, and the foul. He sent Diara Ismail to the 10th floor. No elevator needed. But then it was a little bit too much for him to finish with that foul. But it's even better for Slovenia if he makes both of the free throws, but he misses the first shot. Because... Uh, the Ivory Coast is over the limit right now. That was team fall number seven, so they are in the penalty. Yes, it makes just one out of two. At least tying the game at 10. Yes, it gives it to Vidri. Kral. Kral with a step back, back to Vidri. Vidri lost the ball, intercepted by Ismail. Ismail now again wanting to capitalize on his height advantage, turns, fires, scores. He is toasting and toasting every single time, and this is delicious for the Ivory Coast. Backdoor pass here. Vidri kicks it out to Jesik, puts it in from outside, and Slovenia takes the lead. On and off we go. Gwede with a hand in his face. And the ball goes out of bounds this time. We have a good one going on here on the court, folks. Slovenia 12, Ivory Coast 11. The game that will close up the first day of the competition at the 3x3 basketball here at the Katara Beach as part of the 2019 ANOC World Beach Games. Don't forget to use the official hashtag. That's hashtag AWBG2019.
2019. And now we have a timeout with less than uh, four minutes until the end of this bowl game. We might have another nail biter here on the court. Slovenia 12, Ivory Coast 11. So far, Ismael Diara dominating this game. He has nine out of 11 points for his team. Single-handedly keeping the Ivory Coast in this game. Can he get another double? Not this time. He rushed that shot and he knows it, saying, my bad. But still, when you are feeling it, you are feeling it. You have to do the heat check sometimes. Kral gets on the move, protects the ball with the left hand, misses the shot with the right one. Ismail again underneath the basket, misses the shot this time. Kral gets it. He did not clear it now. Blaka wide open for two. With a source for the rebound and uh, looks like we have a foul against Slovenia that will put Diara Ismail at the free throw line. Ismail with two shots. The first one takes the rust out of the iron and then goes out. One more chance to tie the game with 12. He puts it in. Kral from outside. Ismail, crossover, lost the ball for a second, but there's Lassina on the baseline. Five seconds left on the shot clock, got his pockets picked off, and then Kral finishes it with a left-hand layup. Once again, Slovenia up by one. This is uh, Rede, nice pass inside. So open was Diara Ismail, who ties it again at 13. Yesik. Got that out of his pocket, and he looked like a magician. Was that a Houdini? Wow, very tough shot by uh, Jakob Jesse. And then another foul against Slovenia. This is what you don't want to do when you're leading and you're in the penalty, sending the opposing team to the free throw line with a chance to give them the opportunity to take back the lead. Fortunately for Slovenia, Gwede misses the first shot. They were also helped by a little bit of a breeze here. Second one still no good. So they are still up by one. Yes, he thought about it. Kicks it out. Vidrik for two. Money in the bank. And Slovenia is up by three with two minutes and 37 seconds left. Lasina starts the dance and he rolls it in. Part of my French Cote d'Ivoire. Yes, it kicks it outside to Vidri, pulls the trigger. Can he get it back? Looks like we have a foul. This time the foul is against the Ivory Coast. And Matevs Mlakar, biggest guy on the court, is on the free throw line. First free throw is no good. Misses them both. So both teams with two misses in a row from the free throw line. Lasina. Top shot with the left hand, but he cuts the lead in half. 16 15. Yes, it. Vidri lets it fly. Gets the ball. Severin gets the ball now, lives it up to Ismail. Ismail on the drive, straight to the rim, and we are tied at 16 with less than two minutes until the end of the ball game. Yes, it. From outside. 
it rims out and Ismail soars for the rebound. The Ivory Coast can take the lead here, but they don't, even though Ismail was so close and then he is sacrificing his body, falling into the bleachers hard but he has a smile on his face so everything is good this is what i'm talking about this is free free basketball at the finest look at that Ooh, everybody wanted that lock up yes it wide open for two gets back the rebound and he puts it in with the left hand Ready. And he lost that ball. That's going to be a third over. He asked for a timeout. But the Ivory Coast fans are dancing in the stands. One minute and 25 seconds left until the buzzer sounds for the final time. Only if we are not going to overtime. So far, 15 games done today. None of them needed overtime to decide the winner. Maybe this one will be that overtime game that everybody will talk about tomorrow here in Doha. Grad. Yes, he. Trying to split the defense, keeps the ball. Shot back down to two. That's a prayer, no answer. Lassina. And he lost the handle. He was trying to show him the bicycle, but the chain fell off. Kral. Stops. Gives it to Yesi. Yesi. Nice kick out for a wide open Vitri who misses the two pointer. He fights for the rebound, but the Ivory Coast will get it. This is Ismail. No good. Lassina cannot put it back, but in the end, is Ismail there to tie it? But 17. Yesi now puts it in off the glass. Ismael trying to muscle his way in the paint. He's gonna retain possession for his team. Thirty-two point eight seconds left. This is good. It stops. Pops. Cannot drop. Looks like Slovenia touched that ball last. They cannot believe it. They argue the call. Once again, yes, I think they're right. Looks like Slovenia ball, but the Ivory Coast capitalized on that advantage. Diara Ismael going straight to the teeth of the opposing defense, and he tied the game at 18, but then. I think that was uh, a technical foul. Yeah, that's a technical foul against the Ivory Coast. What a huge mistake. Not letting the opposing player to inbound. And yes, it is cold-blooded from the free throw line, giving Slovenia a one-point lead. Ivory Coast doesn't have to foul. They don't even have this luxury anymore because they're in the double bonus from now on. They just have to defend here and get the ball back. Yes, it shot back down to four. This is for the win, and they will get it. Rock Fidrik sends Slovenia back to the hotel with two wins out of two after the first day of the competition in what probably was the best game so far here at the 3x3 Basketball Arena. And that will conclude day number one of the 2019 ANOC World Beach Games in Doha, Qatar. 3x3 Basketball Competition. 
Slovenia defeats the Ivory Coast 21 to 18. My name is Kosmin Petrescu. It was a pleasure for me to be your host here at the Olympic Channel. I'm going to be the voice for the 3x3 basketball for the next three days too. I hope you enjoy the show and uh, don't forget to tune in to the Olympic Channel back when uh, 3x3 basketball competition will be back with you. Until then, so long for now. Thank you. 